If you're watching this video, then you've probably always been curious about how the world around you works. Maybe you were the kid who took apart clock radios, or tore up the backyard to find fossils, or who spent every waking moment reading about everything they could get their hands on. I know I was. But somewhere along the way, we stopped being taught that the world around us is magical, and instead learned that it's cold, hard, dead. Sure, we have some vague ideas about how the world works. But do we really understand it? Do we know why anything happens? Do we know why we're here? I make videos about space, physics, and engineering because I believe that understanding how the universe works is incredibly important. But I also think that it is possible to present complex subjects like this in a clear and understandable way. The goal of my channel is to teach people the fundamentals of how the universe works so that everyone who wants to can have a basic understanding of the world around them. But it's not just about teaching or learning. It's also about feeling awe and wonder. Looking up into space and seeing the stars, I feel a sense of peace, knowing that no matter what's going on down here, there's always something bigger going on out there. Of course, that's not entirely true. The universe might just be all there is. But maybe that's why I love it so much. We often hear that the universe is expanding, dying, running out of energy. But we rarely hear that it's also growing. Yes, stars will eventually die, but new ones will take their place. As the universe expands, it will keep making new places for life to happen. And even if life doesn't happen again, then it's okay because the universe is doing exactly what it was designed to do. And that's a beautiful thing. So let me take you on a tour through the entire universe, starting with the stuff that you see all around you. Take a deep breath. Can you smell the ocean or fresh cut grass or the asphalt from the nearby road? Can you hear the wind or birds or your refrigerator? Can you feel the warmth of the sun on your face or the ground beneath your feet? Now close your eyes and try to picture all of those things disappearing. If you can't, then you're experiencing most of the things that make up our universe. Everything around us is constantly sending out messages through our senses. And while those messages might be hard to imagine without, once you can, then you'll realize that most of the universe is sending out signals through radiation and waves. When you see a flower, you're actually looking at the light that it emitted over a year ago. And when you hear music, you're listening to vibrations from a speaker that happened milliseconds ago. All of the things that we normally assume to be real are actually a brief snapshot in time. Most of our universe is invisible because it isn't sending out any electromagnetic radiation. It doesn't interact with light in any way. So the only way that we can see it is through the effects it has on things that do interact with light. For example, we can tell that there is an object blocking our view of the stars behind it. Because the object is casting a shadow, we can measure how fast that shadow moves, and we can tell that it has a mass because the ground around it is bending. These are all forms of indirect observation. They show us that there's something there, but we can't actually see it. And that leads us to the strange realization that everything we see is made of parts that we co-unsee. Each of the atoms that makes up your phone, you and the chair you're sitting on, are over 99% empty space. And while they're technically elementary, meaning that they're the simplest kind of particle that we know of, they're still made up of smaller things. There are elementary particles that we call fermions, that include electrons, Everything that we can see and touch is made up of fermions, and those fermions are held together by four fundamental forces. We're probably most familiar with electromagnetism. It is what causes magnets to attract each other. And it is also the reason that you can charge your phone. It's actually the combination of two forces, electricity and magnetism, which themselves are caused by the movement of charged particles. And since opposite charges attract, electromagnetism is one of the long-range forces. Another 
is gravity. It s the force that keeps you glued to the ground. And it s also the reason that planets orbit the stars. Like electromagnetism, gravity is also a long-range force, but it's very weak compared to the other forces. Gravity only becomes noticeable when there's a lot of mass around, so you can ignore it when dealing with small things like electrons and protons. But it's impossible to ignore when you're dealing with the entire Earth. The other two forces are the strong and weak nuclear forces. Both are extremely short range, and they're involved in holding the nucleus of an atom together. The strong force binds protons and neutrons together, and the weak force is what allows certain types of radioactive decay to occur. These four forces permeate all of space, and they govern how particles behave. And despite being the simplest particles that we know of, those elementary particles are still incredibly complex. Let's take the electron as an example. Electrons can carry electric charge, but they can also spin. And in quantum mechanics, a spinning charged particle generates a magnetic field. Even though an electron is the simplest type of fermion that we know of, it has multiple properties, and those properties allow it to interact with other particles in different ways. In fact, those interactions are what gives rise to all of the complexity that we see in the universe. And yet we know that this level of complexity is only an illusion. Behind it all, we know that there are just four forces and a handful of particles. They might be simple, but the relationships between them are complex. And it's in the relationships where the magic happens. So how does all of this relate to you? Well, you're probably mostly standing on the ground right now, which means that you're experiencing the effects of gravity. The reason that you're not falling through the ground is because the ground is made of atoms, which are mostly empty space. And those empty spaces are kept apart by the strong nuclear force. The reason that you can hold something in your hand is because you're re-pushing against it with your muscles, which are made of proteins that are made of amino acids. Each of those amino acids are made of molecules which are made of atoms, which are made of elementary particles held together by four fundamental forces. This is a pretty overwhelming thought, but it's actually fairly simple. There's a lot of detail, sure, but they're all just variations on the same theme. And it gets even simpler. You're not just made of the same stuff that the ground is made of. You are literally the ground. The water that you drink was once part of a plant, which was once part of an animal, which was once part of the ground. Now, if you want to get a bit more philosophical, then you'll realize that you're literally made of stardust. The atoms that make up your body were forged in the cores of stars that lived billions of years ago. Stars produce energy by smashing lighter elements together to make heavier ones. And when they run out of fuel, they die and release those elements into space, seeding the universe with the raw materials necessary for life. The same process that created you also created everything else around you. Two, you are literally made of recycled material. So if we want to understand how the universe works, then we have to start with those elementary particles. Unfortunately, that's a huge undertaking. But fortunately, you don't need to know everything about them to understand how the world around you works. You just need to know how they interact with each other. And those interactions are governed by those four fundamental forces. And I have a video about those forces coming soon. It's a wild ride through math and physics. But trust me, it's worth it because it's the foundation for everything else. So, if you enjoyed this video, then please subscribe and check out some of my other videos. If you'd like to learn more about the universe, then I guarantee you'll love my channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.